went down to New Orleans in 1987 and visited with the first 15 crazy people that had this done. <coughs> and examined their eye, one, one eye each, and looked at them. Now, it took years and years for them to get to the point where they were able to do this accurately. I think of that 15 people, maybe one. Well, one saw well, two others saw adequately, the rest couldn't see well enough to see without glasses to see. But they were all excited as could be about the treatment they had. And none of them had correction that was anything to speak of. Most of them had a very mild amount of correction to begin with, with no astigmatism, so it was very limited in its application. This is a wider view of the same, the latest iteration of the Vizx Axoma laser. Uh, which is the type of the model we have next to the store, which is the Star S4 with the active tracking system and the wavefront system and the whole nine yards. It's about the sixth iteration or the sixth generation since the early ones in the late 80s, early 90s. Since the one I had my eyes treated with, or my treatment done with in 1994. Um, this, this control station is where the surgeon does the actual controlling of the laser for the surgery. The patient lays here. The bed swings in and out, and the controlling and the programming is done here. This is what we call the money slot, okay? <laughs> this is the encrypted key card slot that you put that card in that will allow you to do a laser treatment. Without that card, you can't do a treatment. That's the way the laser company makes their money. Every eye we treat for a standard laser treatment is $150 for one card. Without the card, it's just the world's most expensive paperwork. There are about six laser companies now that build eczema lasers that you can buy if you're a laser surgeon in the United States to do people's treatments. Um, they're all big players. They're all major companies because it took Vizx, who was not a major player, about nine years and $800 million in investment in capital and income to get that laser approved in its first in, in original use, which happened in 1996 in the United States. Okay. That's a long time and a lot of money. So you see Alcon has a laser, Bao Shalom has a laser, and then there's a couple other players that are smaller. If you, if you really want to know, outside the United States, you can buy about 16 different eczema lasers by different companies, 10 or 11 of which just have not decided they want to spend the money to get their laser approved in the United States. But if you look at what sells the most in, in a free economy where you don't have an FDA to tell you what you can buy and can't, Physics still outsells everybody two to one. And they still outsell everybody about two to one in the United States. And it's not because it's cheaper, because this laser is actually about $150,000 more than the next most expensive competitor, which is the Alcon LADAR Vision. Um, but I think the reason that it sells the most, in fact, I know the reason it sells the most, is because it does the best job of correcting whatever combination correction you might have nearsightedness, farsightedness, and stigmatism. Plus the wave scan and wave print system that it has, the custom system is the best that there is in the world. Um, this is a wider shot of the same thing. This slide right here is to remind me of two points that always come up, and that is, number one, people are terrified of what happens if they move their eye when the laser's going off. And, you know, I used to coax and cajole people continuously to keep on target, to look at that little blinking red light six inches above their eye. With the tracking system that's now on the laser, we don't have to be as rigorous about that by any means. With the tracking system that's on there, it actually is more sophisticated than the tracking system on a fighter jet. Once it locks onto the patient's eye, he can move wherever you want, it will follow you wherever you go. Mm -hmm. And so if you move if you move out of range that it'll treat, it'll stop in a fiftieth of a second, which is faster than I could take my foot off the pedal. It's, it's, uh, that's how I used to stop it if somebody moved out of range. And if you move back into range, it reacquires you and continues the treatment. So it's an amazing device, and the tracking system is amazingly sophisticated. It's so sophisticated that it can treat people who have nystagmus, which is that congenital condition where their eyes do this. You may know somebody whose eyes do that. Once we lock onto them with the tracking system, we can treat those people. And we've treated a number of them who have done extremely well, most of whom have ended up seeing better after laser correction than they could see with glasses of contact. So it's really sophisticated. The other thing is you hold your hand underneath there for almost five minutes before you feel it doing anything because it vaporizes so little tissue with each pulse. It would take that long to get to a nerve in your hand you could feel. 
and it vaporizes approximately two tenths of a micron per pulse. Now, who knows what I just said? Anybody understand that? <laughs> we don't do the micron thing in this country. Less than one two thousandth of an inch with each pulse of the laser, and it can pulse anywhere between six and twenty pulses per second, depending. On